This is Liz with Craft Devotion. Join me for the finished product. So, an idea of what I did with the sides. This is what I ended up doing with the sides. I ended up sewing this doily on there, or doily, this lace on. And then I also did some gluing, but um, I sewed it along the edges there. Um, it is kind of hard to sew these um, on this type of a bag because it is very very thick here if you look at how thick that is so I'm not sure if I'll do it that way next time I think I might think of a different way the next time because I don't want my machine to get all beat up but um, this is how it came out this time and it's lovely I, I actually like it and I hope you like it make sure you leave comments for me have finished the project now you can see all the choices I made. I ended up choosing that large bling. I took that fluffy um, flower and I made it a little bit larger. I kept everything white or creamish on the trim. You can see that I added on both sides this beautiful little trim. I love that trim. I don't know where I got it from, but I do love it. And then I kept the integrity of that um, doily, the trim of that doily that I told you that I was going to use. And it just blends right in, but you can see the beauty of that doily there. And you can still see a lot of the background and then the trim from that wedding dress. And you see that I just used it to embellish and I added some pearls there. And over here there's some... Um, Another applique. Those appliques, I did purchase them. They're brand new on Etsy. And you see I added this cool little trim that has those pearls and then it kind of dangles down. Let me see if I can show you that it moves. There you go. See this moves and these move also. And it's actually a trim. Um, I did sew it down. Well, you can see how I did it. I left some of this so you can actually lift it up. I sewed it down. I reinforced it with some um, thing underneath. And um, see that? And then I also glued it down. So this is a combination of it, it, all pieces of this. I, I did a little bit of sewing on it so it would never, wouldn't completely fall off. Here's the choices I made for the back. See that? I left it pretty very plain. And the star is mostly the tablecloth that I chose at the bottom. I kept it pretty simple. I didn't want to overdo overdo the tote. Highlight the beauty. You can see that here you can see the beauty of this this tablecloth. You still see it underneath or it's beautiful. And I left the, the center flowers there. And I actually sewed this on just like the front and I then I glued it. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me and learning how I design things. So this one is not too elaborate. I have other things I showed you that are much more elaborate. But my goal was to give it that sh a shabby chic look. Use shabby chic flowers. To bring out some vintage pieces like that doily. And the vintage wedding dress lace. And do a mixture of rustic burlap. That's with bamboo handles. Tote. And shabby it up a little. Please um, make any comments that you'd like in the bottom and I will answer them and we'll see what our next project is going to be. See you next time. This is Liz with Crafty Devotion.